Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be looking at some leaked stuff coming to Prodigy, so let's get into the video. Alright, so Prodigy just updated the CDN today, so let's go ahead and look at what they added. Alright, so first we are going to be looking at some fireworks. This is called um, Single Image Item 183. So this is a firework. We do actually have a name for this one, which I will show in a little bit. But we also have this firework, which looks like some scales or some dots, maybe. And then maybe some, like, horns up here. Um, then we have this one. This ki one kind of looks like Sunworks. It is not, though. Uh, I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be. And then we have this one, which looks sort of like a fairy. Um, we, now we are going to be moving on to, uh, the icon and spine for this one. So, here is the icon for it. This is called a Lagoon Work. Uh, it's pink, yellow, and purple. Uh, it kind of looks like it has a flower up here, and then sort of like a star right here. And then here's the spine for it. This is called the Spine Firework Lagoon Works. So we can see the fireworks sort of starting to fly up and then it exploding. Um, and then what is going to come out of it is a sea star. Um, I think this is a, supposed to be a sand dollar. Um, there's going to be a shell and then sort of like a spinning, I don't know what it's called, a spinning shell. And then we have some particles, like some stars, and some like yellow orbs. I'm not 100% sure what these are going to be used for. Um, I'm just going to assume that they're going to be for the Dragon Isle. These had actually been added on Summerfest, so I thought they were going to be part of Summerfest, but they were not uh, added into the game, so they're probably not going to be a part of it. And since it seems like um, the Dragon Isle is going to have like some beachy and water areas, that's what I'm going to assume that these fireworks are going to be used for. Now we do have some confirmed Dragon Isle leaks. This one is uh, supposed to be Dragon Isle Whirlpool, so it's just a whirlpool. I'm not sure if you can go into it like you can go into the one on Shipwreck Shore but we will just have to see. On, we have some spells that we can look at. This one looks super cool. We can see these, like, orbs. This is called Spine Shadow Multi-Create 02. So, this sort of looks like an all-out attack in a way for, like, shadow users, um, because we have this, like, big orb of energy, just like I assume all of these are supposed to be at rotating. Um, this is supposed to be for when it hits or when it's casted. I'm not 100% 100% sure But yeah, I really like how this uh, Looks hopefully wizards will be able to use this spell. We also have um, Another one. This is just the exact same spell, but this one is called spine shadow multi impact 02 so this is just like it hitting I guess we can see that there are some particles that I assume will be coming off of the ground, which could support my theory that this is going to be like an all-out attack for shadow users. Or I guess it could also be something like how we had Supernova in the old battle system, possibly look like that. And my theory for this is that it's going to be um, what the Shadow Dragon uses in the Dragon Isle. I've probably seen this image before, but it was just added to the CDN today for the first time. This is called Treasure Track Splash, and the splash is what you would see when you're loading into Prodigy. Like, right now we have the concert one. So this is what we're going to be seeing. Um, there was something um, that wasn't in the metadata or the data this was just like somewhere in prodigy's code on the when you're loading in but i believe it says that the dates for this are july 5th to august 4th so i'm not 100 percent sure 
uh, what the next treasure track season is going to be. It could be like related to this image, and we could be getting like another treasure or another pirate themed treasure track season, or we could just not be getting a treasure track from July 5th to August 4th is what I'm assuming is going to happen, because I don't think Prodigy is going to start up another treasure track as soon as this one ends. Well, now thinking about it, it is possible because uh, that would be five days in between when the current treasure track ends and the next one starts. Um, but that would probably mean that we're only getting a month-long treasure track, or they could just put up another splash for when uh, August 5th comes around. And the final thing that we have to look at is in the data. This is just like some text highlighted in orange. We can see max level, x max level. I don't really know what this is supposed to mean. Um, then we have evolution model skip. Um, skip, you can like skip your evolution, I guess. Evolution, model, evolve pet, evolve pet, uh, I think that is in the game, sort of. Um, and then we have pet, rescue, insufficient, magic coin, rescue blank, before it go gets away, I'm pretty sure that was already in the game. Um, magic coin, get instructions, earn more in treasure track, insufficient currency, tool, tip, title, you don't have enough, uh, your pet, evolve pet, uh, evolve pet and yeah so the final thing it just says post battle flow evolve and then it tells you to evolve none of this i don't i don't really think any of this is interesting but yeah that is all that was added today so yeah that is going to go ahead and end up the video if you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and bye